Hi guys, welcome back. So I know the Oscars literally a couple days ago, but I just couldn't wait to do this video because my friend Marissa actually, um, she is a makeup buff. She is a beauty buff and she, every time there's like a red carpet event, she goes on and she looks for all the products that are used. She goes on Instagram and she goes online and she looks for all the products that are featured, all the products that are used. And as soon as she saw that Chanel was up in center, she screenshot it and she sent it to me and she was like, oh my God, look at all the products. Look at all the Chanel products that are being used. And as I was looking through it, I was like, oh my god. Like, because every time I look at, like, a red carpet look, I'm always like, oh my god, I wish, you know, I could achieve that look, or I wish, you know, I could have those eyes, or I wish I could have that complexion. And to see that all the products that are used on the red carpet are all products that I'm very, very familiar with, and the layering process, it's, you know, nothing, none of it is foreign to me. So I figured that I should just compile all the products that I saw were featured on the red carpet um, and go ahead and cre and just kind of create like an Oscar red carpet inspired look for you guys. Just so you guys can see that a red carpet look is very achievable. So this is a look that I went ahead and um, came up with and I used looks and products that were used on um, Margot Robbie who is, you know, now the new you know, ambassador for the house of Chanel. And um, I know a lot of products were used on Zoe Deutsch. And I know a lot of Chanel products were used on Allison Williams as well. So I literally went through the entire listings of products that were used on the red carpet for Margot, Allison, and um, Zoe. And I went through all of them, I wrote them all down, and I kind of picked and choose a little bit from each look to compile into something very achievable for you guys. So I know on Zoe, on her complexion, they use a Perfection Lumiere Velvet with the Le Tente Ultra powder. But I know on Margot, um, they use the Scintillin's Cream Eyeshadow and um, the Cecile Lip Liner. And I know on um, Allison, they use the Lip Lush. So I wanted to combine a little bit of everything so that to show you guys how to layer the products properly, just basically how you guys can have your own red carpet makeup look at home and just to show you guys how achievable it is. So as you guys can see, like it's, you know, it's not overwhelming. Our national makeup artist, John Fassell, he actually um, said something that really resonated with me, um, is that we don't want to hide your face behind makeup. You want to hide the makeup behind your face because you still want people to see your face. You just want people to be like, oh, you look good. So thanks to Marissa, she sparked a creative fire inside of me to go ahead and kind of not recreate, but to create an Oscar red carpet inspired look that were used on the red carpet for the 90th Academy Award. Um, that literally just happened a couple days ago. But before we hop into the video, I just wanna let you guys know that at my counter, we do have a lot of events coming up. So if you guys ever want like, if you guys ever need anything, feel free to call me at the number listed down below. I know I always mention that, like, you guys can call me, but, um, you know, and I do get phone calls from you guys, which I really appreciate, because at my counter, there are so many events that happen, and I don't want you guys to miss out on it. For example, like, we have national events where our national makeup artist comes in. His name is John Fassell, and he has a very impressive resume. He has worked with a lot of celebrities. He has worked with a lot of people that you see on screen, um, and he is just... He's the best mentor that I could ever ask for. I mean, every time he comes, I always learn something from him. He can do anything, and he's just amazing. And we literally get him literally, I think, like twice, maybe three times max a year, where he comes in, and you can book a 30-minute session with him where if you want to do one thing, like if you want to learn about eyes, he can teach you, like, you know, how to emphasize your eyes. Like, he will dedicate 30 minutes, like, on a one-on-one -on -one session with you so that you can learn whatever you want about makeup that day. He is such a great teacher, like I can't even explain it. Um, or if you guys are more into skincare, we do have spa events where we do have a Chanel licensed esthetician come in and it's a private setting. You guys go into a private spa room in the back and um, you guys get a one hour facial. You tell you know the esthetician what you, know, you want out of the facial and she will focus on that, whether it's anti-aging, whether it's brightening or you know evenness, hydration, radiance, whatever you guys want to address, she will address it like in your own personal spa. So if you guys are interested in whether it's like booking a 30 minute session with our national makeup artist, or if you guys want to come in for, you know, your one hour little spa at Chanel, it would be great too. Or, you know, we just have so many events coming up. And since I work at a Nordstrom, Triple Points is coming up where you guys, you know, if you make um, a purchase during, you know, that's 
certain span of days, you will get triple the amount of your usual points. So that way, more points, you get more money back faster. But you know, if you guys want more details on any of those things, feel free to call me. Like I would love to talk to more of you guys. But if anything, if you guys are in the SoCal area, I really want you guys to stop by my counter or give me a call so at least I can book you guys either for like a spa facial or at least so that you guys can work with our national makeup artist because uh, he's amazing. Like I, every time he comes into the store, he has like, you know, everything to teach us and just he's great at teaching if any of those events sound interesting to you guys feel free to give me a call or to comment down below or message me however it is like, don't be shy come in come in and see me but without further ado i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope you guys enjoy this look i hope you guys get more intrigued and a little more you know curious and i hope this inspires you guys to just go ahead and jump in and play with some chanel products because like a lot of our products are actually featured in movies and on red carpets so it's not that hard to look like your favorite celebrity on the red carpet it's just a matter of application so i hope i inspired you guys and you know got some creative juices flowing for you guys so without any further ado let's go ahead and jump into the video hi tofu Oh, hi, baby. Come on, honey. Say hi. You never want to say hi. I know. I know. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Can you say hi, boo? Oh. Why do you always want attention when I'm about to film, huh? It's always when I'm about to film. What do you have to say for yourself? I am going to incorporate as many of the products as I can and just to give you guys kind of like a, you know, like an Oscar inspired look so that you guys can see, you know, because I know you see all these like, you know, red carpet looks and you're like, oh my gosh, I wish I could do that at home. You can because all these products are readily available to you. So I'm just going to go ahead and prep my skin with the Huge Beauty Essence Mist. Okay, so for complexion, I'm gonna be using three things. I'm gonna be using the Perfection Lumiere Velvet. I'm using number 20, because that's my shade. And I'm going to be mixing a little bit of the Soleil Tan de Chanel Show Illuminating Fluid, and I'm gonna set it with the um, Le Tant, um Compact. So these three items, um, it's gonna give me, like, it's gonna keep me matte, but also it's gonna give me like kind of like a subtle glow without looking too greasy. So this is the perfect way to combine that red carpet glow while still maintaining like a matte complexion, if you know what I mean. Like you're still gonna glow in all the right areas and you're still gonna have like a nice little shimmer in certain areas, but overall you're gonna have like a matte complexion. So this is like the perfect in between because I know the Vita Lumiere Aqua, it looks wonderful on a lot of people, but for me it's just the slightest bit too greasy. So I want to be able to control, you know, my luminosity and this is the best way to do it. Just a little bit. So you guys can see I put a little dab of the um, sheer illuminating fluid in the midst of like my foundation and I'm literally just going to mix it together and just apply it. With this foundation, less is definitely more. As you can see, like I put very little and it covers a lot. This foundation is technically a medium coverage, but as you guys can see, it's like a medium to full, especially if you build it up the right way. So you guys can see like I'm matte but I'm glowing in all the right places like to me this is like my ideal complexion like if I could look like this all day every day I'm literally just gonna take a little bit more and use it as concealer I'm just taking a little bit more on my finger like under my eye a little bit on my nose where I feel like I need a little extra coverage And I want just a little bit more glow on my cheekbones, so I'm just gonna take a little more on my fingers and I'm just gonna press it into the tops of my cheekbones. Literally, I just have like the tiniest bit on my finger. This stuff is powerful, guys. I 
That was easy, right? Now we're just gonna set this whole thing with the Latente powder. And I'm also using this one in number 20. Now this foundation, the Perfection Lumiere Velvet, it does have the technology in it so that you don't have to set it with a powder, but I am oily and I'm extra paranoid, so I always set everything with a powder. And as you can see, even though I'm setting it with a powder, it doesn't compromise my glowy skin at all. Like, it still shows through. I'm gonna go in with the lip blush in number 414 Tender Rose. And this formula is super amazing because literally all it takes is a couple dots and you are going to be amazed. The blendability is so amazing. I know it looks like I have smallpox, but hold on, wait for it. You could either blend it out with your fingers or with a brush. I'm gonna use a brush. And then moving on to eyes, I'm going to be using a couple of different um, cream eyeshadows because I have grown to really love cream eyeshadows, especially the Chanel ones because they blend so beautifully and nothing else compares. So ever since I've discovered these and have gotten used to them and have loved them, I really haven't used anything else. So, and on the red carpet, they used a lot of these. I mean, I know it was used on Zoe Deutsch and on um, Margot Robbie and just they this is used all over the place and so if you guys are looking for like just a very simple easy eye nothing gets easier than these i'm gonna move you guys a little closer for eyes okay so the first color i'm going in with is scintillance and this one was used on margot robbie um and it was just used as a light wash all over her eyes i'm literally just taking a fluffy brush and i am going to use that as my base and i'm literally just gonna wash it all over my eye again excuse the wonky eye as you guys can see it never went away See, as you guys can see, the application doesn't have to be precise. I'm literally just slapping it on and making sure it blends in nicely. And then I'm gonna take silver pink on a more precise brush and I'm literally just going to just define my outer corner with it. I'm literally just gonna blend the edges out. And then I'm just taking a clean brush and just buffing up the edges. Now I'm just gonna take like an itty bitty brush and I'm just gonna rim the same color silver pink along my lower lash line. And then I'm just gonna take a clean smudge brush and just smudge the lower lash line just to blend it out a little more. So now I'm gonna take New Moon. It's one of our older colors, but it's super popular because it's super sparkly. And I'm just gonna add that to the center third of my eye just for some sparkle. There's just something about this color that just adds the perfect amount of sparkle to everything. And then I'm gonna take the Le Creon Coal in the color Amber and just rim my entire eye with it.
Don't worry if it gets messy, we're just gonna go in and smudge it anyway. It is so crazy what eyeliner can simply do. And then we're gonna go in with that same itty bitty brush and just blend everything out. I'm literally just taking it and smudging the top. So the good thing about the Cole pencils is that they are kind of like a cream shadow on a stick. They're very forgiving. I mean, they last long, but they're also very blendable. So that's why I love using these. Okay, so we're gonna stop with the eyes for now and we're gonna move on to eyebrows. So I'm gonna be using the combination of the eyebrow gel and the eyebrow pencil. So I'm gonna go in with the eyebrow gel first for, you know, just to shape my brows and then I'll go in and fill in the rest with the eyebrow pencil. Now I'm gonna go back and revisit the eyes. I'm just gonna finish it off with the mascara and I'm using the Inevitable Intense. I like to do mascara after I do my eyebrows because I feel like when my eyelashes are extended, like it just doesn't, like it kind of gets in the way of me filling in my eyebrows. So that's why I fill in my eyebrows first and then I do mascara and I do the same thing when I'm working on another person. I always do eyebrows first and then mascara. So mascara time. And I actually like to start with the bottom lashes first because if you start with your top lashes and you look up to finish your bottom lashes, you're gonna transfer mascara. So I always do bottom lashes first. Eyes are done, and now I'm gonna zoom you guys back in so we can finish up the face. So we're almost done. We have eyes, we have brows, and now it's just the finishing touches. I'm just gonna add a little bit of bronzer, we're just gonna highlight a little bit, and then we're gonna finish off the lips. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my bronzer of choice, which is gonna be the Le Beige in number 50, because I prefer my bronzers to be a little more cool tone. It's up to you guys. You guys can do a warm tone one, it's up to you, but we're not gonna do anything too intense. I'm literally just gonna go in with my brush, my Eater brush, just a little bit, and we're gonna do a very slight bronze just to give. You know, just to give, you know, some, just to put some brown all over the face. Bring it down to the jawline. And then just up to the forehead just a little bit. And then just repeat on the other side. And I always like to go back and blend everything out with the original powder brush that we use, just to make everything a little more seamless. And then we're just gonna go in with the Le Beige Healthy Glow Luminous Powder, just to highlight a little more. And I'm literally just taking a little bit and just gonna hit it right at the top of my cheekbones. Just for a slight glow. Okay, and now to finish off the lips, I'm gonna actually be using two things. I'm gonna be going back in with the lip lock. I'm gonna use it as a base, and then I'm gonna go over with Cecile. And I'm literally just gonna tap the color on my lips like that, just to give it like a slight little base to work with. And I'm gonna go on my fingers. And 
And then we're gonna go in with Cecile, which is one of my favorite colors from Chanel. And then I like to go back in and redefine the natural contours of my lip. And I'm using the Chanel lip liner in number 34, Natural. And then I'm just going to spray one more time with Hydra Beauty Essence Mist. So this is the finished look. I will link everything that I used down in the bottom bar below just so you guys can go check out the products yourself. So this is the finished look. I feel like it's very, I feel like it's still very achievable and it's something that every day that you guys can do. It's all about layering products and it's so simple. I know like you guys look at like, you know, the celebrities because I remember I look at the celebrities on red carpets and I'm like, oh my God, I wish I could have that makeup look or I wish, you know, my skin could look like that or I wish I had that glow. But you know, now that the product listing is out and I mean, I will list all the products down below for you guys. Um, I'll even list all the products down below used on like, you know, specific celebrities, whether it's like Margot Robbie or Zoe Deutsch, whoever it is, and, you know, whatever Chanel listings that I found that were seen on the red carpet, I will definitely list it down below for you guys to check out. Um, um, but yeah, so um, like I said earlier, um, if you guys have any questions, comments, go ahead and comment down below or uh, go ahead and feel free to call me at the counter. You know, if you're interested in purchasing any of these products or just, you know, trying out any products, feel free to stop by and see me at the Santa Anita Mall at Nordstrom at the Chanel counter. You guys always catch me off guard. It's like literally, it's every time I'm standing there, like literally doing nothing, minding, minding my own business is when you guys walk up and you're like, oh my God, I watch you on YouTube. And I'm like, like literally, I never... I never conduct myself properly in front of you guys. I feel like I always feel like either I'm too awkward or I'm too dorky or it's just I'm not acting right. So if you guys have seen me in person and you're like, ah, oh, she wasn't all that, I'm so sorry. It's literally because I I literally at that point I'm so caught off guard I don't know what to say but I would love to see more of you guys in store with me if you guys are in the local SoCal area um, I am in the Arcadia location um, at Nordstrom Santa Anita at the Chanel counter if you guys want to stop by and see me there are a lot of events coming up so like I said if you guys are interested in on like a one-on-one -on -one session with our international makeup artist or if you guys are interested in you know getting like a spa facial so you guys can get acquainted with our skincare regimen and our skincare products you guys have all that like we have so many events coming up that are Chanel oriented and it's very hands-on so you guys can get to know the product and learn from a lot of our experts because we're one of the few doors that actually get a global makeup artist his resume is so impressive he's worked with a lot of celebrities so if you guys are interested in working one-on-one -on -one with him and getting like a makeup consultation or getting a skincare consultation with him that's open to you guys or if you guys want like to come in with one of our trained estheticians specifically for Chanel there's that too. So, I mean, there's a lot of exciting things that are coming that I would love for you guys to come in and check out. But yeah, questions, comments, leave them down below. DM me, email me, whichever, however you guys want to reach me. Or like I said, call the counter. I always answer and just ask for Andrea. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys enjoy this look. I mean, a red carpet look is very, very achievable. It's literally all about layering. And honestly, as you guys can see, it's not about precision. It's literally just about layering and blending. But yeah, I hope you guys find this video helpful. I hope you guys enjoy this look. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys again next time. Bye.